Uh, hi, my name is Deb Polson. I'm a lecturer at QUT in the Department of Interactive and Visual Design. And this year we're hosting a really special program for the Brisbane Asia Pacific Film Festival. The program's called Hybrid Worlds. And we're, we're kind of exploring this new intersection between the cinematic technologies and gaming technologies. And we're doing this in the wonderful space at QUT at Gardens Point in the new Cube area. We're presenting a sort of arcade of new works which are from across the Asia-Pacific region, um, including works from Singapore, Hong Kong, and of course around Australia. And we're really excited about showcasing some of these works. There are some experiences that cannot exist outside of VR. But with this, you can walk around, you can lay on the ground, you can jump, do jumping jacks, it doesn't matter. It knows where you are, and you can have really interesting experiences, experiences that cannot exist in real life and cannot be done in video games at the moment. Years and we're just seeing exponential growth, so it's just going to accelerate more and more um, as, as, as people become more educated and skilled in these, in these areas of development. Um, so um, I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to the future and seeing all these technologies come to reality. I think they will. It's really been a really good, had a really good turnout. I'm glad to see a lot of people come along, so we weren't too sure what, what was going to happen essentially. But we've seen everybody's really engaged and wanting to try everything, the VR especially, that's the, from the point of it to get involved in all the technology, all that kind of job, so it's really good. It's pretty much um, was it allowing us to test a lot of our uh, was it our code that we've been using. So what we've been doing is uh, implementing a lot of new features that we didn't have in Unreal Development Kit, um, and we're pretty much able to test it on the general public at the moment, which is great. Definitely, like this is the first time I've showcased my project, and having worked on it by myself, like obviously now everything works, I can fly through it. Seeing people actually use it now in the public, yep. it um, shows me how people are really using it, how they're experiencing it. So I've got a few ideas on how I can progress it a bit further now. The talk was really good. Thankfully we had six panellists who could all uh, talk and mean that I could just sit there and listen and get distracted with how, how interesting it all was. So yeah, that was, that was really good. I actually am returning back to the kind of narrative sense of games, uh, game storytelling. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the whole idea of story and how to tell stories in games. Mind blowing. Yeah. I felt like I was really going to fall over. It's just like unlimited. Like my whole idea of space is completely challenged. Yeah. Looking at how that is going to change and challenge our notion of cinematic experience. Oh, it's, it's exciting, it's exciting, it's still early stages. <laughs> yeah, it's great, it's always interesting to sort of get an insight into what other sort of experiences people are having with it. But it's been tremendous, I mean it's been an absolute, uh, like the conversations that have been had, the, the, the creative talents that have been brought together in the same room, it's, it's a really exciting time, not only for Brisbane as a, as a place to be working, but I think for the rest of the world to see Brisbane in that way.